Welcome back on in everybody. This is going to be essentially part three, week four of the NCAA football 2002 dynasty worst to first mode with Kent State. In our last episode, we beat Division 1 AA East. Oop, there we go. Let's get to the team schedule. 28 to 7. Next on the docket is Miami of Ohio at Dick Stadium, as you guys probably would have recognized. Um, in the most recent episode, Dick Stadium does not look like that in um, actuality. Uh, a lot of these stadiums don't look how they should, uh, for lack of better words. I think they kind of rushed it with it being a new platform. This is the first game on the PS2 for the NCAA franchise, uh, so they kind of rushed it in that regard. Um, but in any case, they didn't get it completely right. That gets fixed in later games, don't worry. Um, so week four, after our wins against Iowa and 1AA East, we take on Miami of Ohio at 6 p.m. Uh, once, if we ever get a 7 o'clock game, I'll show you kind of how the sky turns from day to night. Um, kind of like what Troy State would happen, how South Carolina would happen. Minnesota plays in a dome, so they wouldn't be able to showcase it. In week three, five teams, lower ranked or unranked, beat high ranked opponents. Notre Dame were ranked around 20th, beat number seven, Nebraska. Number 23, Georgia, beat number 16, South Carolina. Unranked, USF beat Pitt, who was, I believe, 24th. Unranked, Arkansas beat number six, Tennessee. And unranked, North Carolina beat number four, Texas. Um, there have been nine upsets in the first three weeks of the football season on this game, so it's been chaos. Um, but we will be taking on, like I said, um, we'll just exit out here real quick. What does our AD say to us? As you can see, we have the profile, what we're doing. We're going to run a lot more because we've had a lot of success with our running back um, rather than our receivers, our prestige of one star. And we are a little option here, so... Our AD says answering the media's post-game questions is always easier after a win. He is correct on that. Now, in later games, it shows you like the attendance and different things like that. It does not do it for this game. All I can say is that our attendance in the first game was quite shockingly bad. Um, our contract status, you're one of three. Expectations, get a winning season two out of three years. Our national title, which I highly, highly doubt. Um, one of those three years. This is going to be about a 40-year project, I believe. Um, hopefully within that time we can win a national championship at Kent and we can move on to NCAA 2003. But in any case, um, if we win this game, it's our first conference win. Uh, that puts us in a good position at least to get the six wins. Um, because that is the goal, as I will show you our schedule. The team schedule, after Miami of Ohio, we got West Virginia, who's going to be a heavy favorite against us. Um, but we do have winnable games against Bowling Green, Northern Illinois, and Buffalo, um, as well as Ohio. So if we do beat Miami of Ohio, there's a realistic chance, given our schedule, that we could be 7-1 and one, um, going up against Marshall. And Marshall's far, far more talented than us. Um, so that's going to be a very tough game. Ball State and Akron, you know, we could be 9-2. and two. I believe at the end of the year so things are really looking up for us um, I was hoping for six wins to start the year we'll still see I still want to put that as a goal to have a winning season um, if we get to six and five it probably wouldn't put us in a bowl game uh, because most of the rest of the calendar is going to be all of the um, max schedule minus West Virginia so um, we do have two road games are in a row West Virginia and Bowling Green but we follow that up with two home games against Northern Illinois and Buffalo before uh, three out of the last four are on the road. So it'll be a very interesting schedule. Um, without further ado, let's first simulate up to the point, because we will play this game. We're also going to double back and see what upsets were sparked on this most glorious day. I can't filter through all of them that quick. I do believe I saw one upset though, so let's just go back real quick. 
We'll scroll through the top here. Uh, UNLV pulled off the shocker against Colorado State, UCLA beat Arizona State. Cal destroyed Rutgers. You got Georgia beating Houston there. Kentucky is a favorite in the media polls. Um, they won 27-3. Northwestern walloped Navy, number 14. Notre Dame beat Purdue, number 18. This was almost kind of like a showdown Saturday on this game. There were multiple top 20 and top 10 matchups. Um, so Florida just manhandled the heck out of Tennessee, 66-24. Um, Duke beat Clemson. Duke is now 2-1 and one on the year. That's a very good record for them. Georgia Tech, who was good at the time, um, now 4-0 and oh after beating Florida State. So that's a bit of a mini upset, but not unexpected, I would say. Kansas State held on to beat Louisiana Tech. Louisville beat, or Illinois beat Louisville, I should say. Number 22, Michigan State beat Missouri 24-6. Uh, Nebraska, who lost to Notre Dame, as I mentioned. Uh, beat Rice by three touchdowns. Oregon State pretty much handled 1AA Northwest pretty easily. Colorado, you saw there winning. Akron won a 10 0 affair. Uh, UCF could be in the ranks. They actually upset Clemson the first week of the year. Uh, Arkansas, number 21, now in the ranks. They beat North Texas 37 0. Wyoming, this could be considered an upset. Um, they beat Kansas 16-10. So with that, we are going to hit that again. We're going to get our user profile on here because we've wrecked up some campus challenge points. I'll show you guys that at the end or at the start of the next episode. And let's go on to play Miami of Ohio. Now, I will mention a lot of these games probably will not be broadcast by uh, Brad Nessler, Kirk Herbstreit, and Lee Corso. Uh, we're not a very good team, obviously. I'm hoping maybe we can get the West Virginia game on the television network so we can maybe help that with recruiting. Um, same with the Marshall game. If we are 7-1 and one at that point, I don't see how we aren't because Marshall's going to be a really good team. We're, we would be noted as a really good team. Um, to but as we see, a few more rows of fans in the crowd. So let's just hand it over to the announcer and we'll go from there. Kent has won the toss and has elected to receive. Return 18 yards by number 24. First and 10 at the 32-yard line. Number 24 runs to the 47-yard line. A gain of 14 on the play. First and 10 at the 47 yard line. Number eight runs for a gain of four yards. Second and five at the 50 yard line.
Pass complete at number five for a gain of 27 yards. You know what? This is a good time to execute the plays you practiced all week. First and 10 at the 22-yard line. Number 16 completes the pass to number 36 for a two-yard gain. Second and seven at the 20-yard line. Number 24 is stopped for no gain. Third and seven at the 19-yard line. Quarterback sacked by number 22. Loss of seven yards on the play. Number 39, Number 39 in to attempt the field, field goal. goal. The kick, the kick is, is good. good. Number 97, number 97 to kick, to kick off. off. Number, number four, four and number, number 18, 18 back, back to receive. receive. Kickoff kick returned 28 yards by number, number four. four. First and 10 at the 22-yard line. Number four with the catch. A gain of 12 on the play. First and 10 at the 34-yard line. Second and 10 at the 34-yard line. Number 25 with the catch, a gain of 10 on the play. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. A team that can run the ball has the best chance of winning. So I try to establish the run here. First and 10 at the 37 yard line. Number eight runs to the 42 yard line. A gain of four on the play. Second and five at the 42-yard line. Short gain by number 24. Second, 
third and three at the 41 yard line. First and ten at the 21-yard line. Number 55 runs for a gain of seven yards. Red zone play is crucial to winning and losing. As a coach, I'm concerned about not turning the ball over here because that means taking points off the board. First, First and, ten and 10 at the 13-yard line. line. <laughs> Number 24 runs to the 16-yard line for a loss of three, three yards. yards. The kick, the kick is, is good. good. Number 97, 97 to, kick to kick off. off. Number, number four, four and number, number 18, 18 back, back to receive. receive. Return 31 yards by number four. First and ten at the 19 yard line. Fair, Fair catch, catch made, made by, by number, number 24. 24. First and ten at the 48-yard line. At the end of the first quarter, the score is Kent 10, Miami of Ohio, nothing.
pass complete to number three for a gain of 35 yards. First and 10 at the 14 yard line. Number 24 runs for a gain of 11 yards. First and goal at the three yard line. Second and goal at the three yard line. Short game by number eight. Third and goal at the two-yard line. Pass complete to number 86 for a short loss. The kick is good. Return 17, 17 yards, yards by, by number 18. 18. First and 10 at the 33 yard line. Number four with the catch, a gain of 17 on the play. First and 10 at the 50-yard line. Pass complete to number 95 for four yards. Second and five at the 46-yard line. Number 12 throws complete to number four for a 20-yard gain. First and 10 at the 26-yard line. Second and 10 at the 26-yard line. Third and 10 at the 26-yard line. Number 12 completes the pass to number 84. A gain of seven on the play.
Number 36 in to attempt the field goal. The kick is good. Number 36 to kick off. Number 35 and number 24 back to receive. Kickoff return 29 yards by number 24. First and 10 at the 21 yard line. Number 24 runs for a gain of 8 yards. Second and one at the 30-yard line. Number 16 throws complete to number 36 for an eight-yard gain. First and 10 at the 38-yard line. Number 24 runs out of bounds at the 48-yard line. A gain of nine on the play. Second and inches at the 48-yard line. Gain of three yards for number eight. First and ten at the 50-yard line. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. Timeout, Kent. They have two remaining. Incomplete pass intended for number 12. The kick, the kick is good. Is good. Kickoff return, 23 yards by number 18.
first and 10 at the 24-yard line. Timeout, Miami of Ohio. They have two remaining. First and 10 at the 43-yard line. Second and 10 at the 43-yard line. Timeout, Miami of Ohio. They have one remaining. First and 10 at the 34-yard line. Quarterback sack by number four. Loss of seven yards on the play. First and ten at the 42-yard line. That's, That's the end the of the end first, of the first half, half with the, with score. the score. Kent 24, Miami, Miami of Ohio, Ohio 3. Obviously a very good half for us, up 24 to 3. Now, I do want to see that very ne next to last play of the half. Um, that did not go as a take, as a giveaway for us. Um, we entered the game minus 3 in the turnover ratio. We had equaled... Uh, Iowa two to two, but we gave the ball away three separate times in the in the uh, win against Division One AA East. So to now be negated of that and to now be at zero is a good feeling. We're two of four on third downs. Um, we've gone in the red zone three times, gotten points every time. Uh, we had that deep shot uh, towards the end of the half there. I'll admit I was just trying to throw it up there. And see if the receiver can come down with it. If not, I was going to punt the ball away. So I thought, might as well just take a shot. But our quarterback, 7 of 10, 3 touchdowns, 134 passing. We haven't gotten a lot done on the ground. And I think I'm going to emphasize that in the second half here. Um, the one time I did run it with the quarterback was actually a mistake. I didn't realize I could press L2 and have him run. So maybe I'll do that in future games here i don't see much use to it um the rest of this game but we'll see um also you guys probably noticed i did ask corso on a few plays those were mistakes i did not mean to ask him on plays i just was a little bit scatterbrained at that and pressed square instead of x but overall doing really well um we've spread the ball around to six different players trying to get a few more players into it but we've done really well again after their quarterbacks. Um, I think we have overall on the day four, three or four sacks. Um, it says only one, so I thought we had more than that. But we have the three takeaways. That's pretty good. Our kicking game has also been pretty good. Um, so overall, I think it's been a pretty good first half of play. Hopefully our second half. Uh, continues to do that. We don't have anybody on the injury report. Thank the Lord for that. And Miami of Ohio didn't either. So either way. But we're just kicking butt right now. Our offense has done really well. Our defense has played really well. Uh, so let's start the second half and we'll go from there.
number 97 to kick off. Number four and number 18 deep to receive. Kickoff return 27 yards by number four. First and 10 at the 23 yard line. Second and 10 at the 23 yard line. Third and 10 at the 23 yard line. Quarterback sack by number 51. Loss of four yards on the play. Fair catch, catch made, made by, by number, number 24. 24. First and 10 at the 38 yard line. Number 24 runs to the 43 yard line. A gain of 20 on the play. First and 10 at the 43 yard line. Run by number 24 for a short game. Second and eight at the 41 yard line. Pass incomplete, number 58 on the coverage. Third and eight at the 41 yard line. First and 10 at the 21 yard line. Number four makes the catch, a gain of 23 on the play. First and 10 at the 44 yard line. Number 12 completes the pass to number 6 for a 19 yard gain.
first and 10 at the 38-yard line. Eight-yard pass complete to number 80. Second and one at the 29-yard line. Pass complete to number 13 for six yards. First and 10 at the 22-yard line. Pass complete to number 95 for nine yards. Second and short at the 13-yard line. Touchdown. Touchdown. The kick, the kick is, is good. good. Kickoff return 12 yards by number 35. First and 10 at the 24 yard line. Number 24 runs out of bounds at the 28-yard line. A gain of four on the play. Second and five at the 28-yard line. Number 16 completes the pass to number 12 for a 31-yard gain. First and 10 at the 41-yard line. Gain of five yards for number 24. Second and four at the 36 yard line. Third and four at the 36-yard line.
pass complete to number three for a gain of 18 yards. First and 10 at the 17-yard line. Gain of six yards for number 24. At the end of the third quarter, the score is Kent 24, Miami of Ohio 10. Second and three at the 10 yard line. Third and three at the 10 yard line. Touchdown! The kick, the kick is good. Is good. Kickoff return, return 34, 34 yards by, by number, number four. four. First, First and, and ten, ten at the 16-yard line. line. Number, number 12, 12 throws, throws complete, complete to number four. four. A gain of 15 on, on the play. play. First and 10 at the 31-yard line. Second and 10 at the 31-yard line. Pass complete to number four for three yards. Third and six at the 34-yard line. Pass complete to number 13 for a gain of 18 yards for a first down. First and 10 at the 48-yard line. Pass complete to number 84 for five yards. Second and four at the 43-yard line. Number four makes the catch, a gain of 21 on the play.
First and 10 at the 21 yard line. Number 25 with the catch. A gain of four on the play. Second and five at the 17-yard line. Pass complete to number four for a gain of 14 yards. First down. First and goal at the two-yard line. Pass complete to number 95 for a loss of one yard. The kick is good. Kickoff return a yard by number 84. First and 10 at the 48 yard line. Number 24 runs for a gain of 25 yards. First and 10 at the 22-yard line. Run by number eight for a gain of four yards. Timeout, Miami of Ohio. They have two remaining. Second and five at the 18-yard line. Timeout, Miami of Ohio. They have one remaining. First and goal at the six-yard line. Number eight runs to the three-yard line. A gain of three on the play. Second, Second and goal, and goal at the three-yard three line. <laughs> Number 24 runs, runs to the one-yard one line. A gain of one, one on the play. play. Timeout, Timeout, Miami of Ohio. Ohio. They, they have, have none, none remaining. remaining. <laughs> Third and goal, and goal at the goal line. line. Number 24 runs to the three-yard line for a loss of two yards.
The kick, the kick is good. Is good. Kickoff return, return 33 yards by, by number, number four. four. First and First ten, and ten at, the at the 17 yard line. line. Second and ten at the 17-yard line. Third and ten at the 17-yard line. Fourth and ten at the 17-yard line. Turnover, Turnover on, on downs. downs. First and ten at the 26-yard line. The final, the final score, score is, is Kent, Kent 38, 38, Miami of Ohio, Ohio 17. 17. Well, the post-game recap is this. Um, we thoroughly dominated offensively. I thought we did really, really well. Um, putting up 38 points, putting up a bunch of yards. Um, didn't turn the ball over, which was important. Um, pass defense in that second half was just bad. Uh, we got to improve on that. Um, but overall, we're 3-0. and uh, which is a big step in the right direction for us. Um, we got West Virginia next week. Um, no, good, good game overall offensively for us. Defensively, I thought the first half we did all right. Second half, uh, we did not do as well. Our quarterback, four touchdowns today, 10 of 17. Uh, need to do a little bit better with the percentages, but um, overall I thought we did all right. Our second half... Uh, rushing picked up quite a bit, over 100 yards for a running back, got the late touchdown. I didn't really want to score that touchdown, but uh, their timeouts kind of happened to where it where it happened. Um, but, yeah, overall with our defense getting three takeaways, that was big. Um, we were 5 of 8 on third downs tonight. We scored in the red zone every time we got the ball, so that was pretty good. Um, over 300 yards of offense with this team is going to be pretty good, I think. So I think all in all, a really good effort. Thank you, guys. I know this video is long, but it is what it is. I probably won't do this like all the time, having 
you know, pregame, postgame, stuff like that. But, you know, every now and again I'll spray it in. But I did have a longer intro for this thing just to show you guys a little bit. The next one will be pretty short. I'll show you guys kind of the campus challenge points, and then we'll get right into it. So uh, thank you so much for this. Um, I hope you guys tune in for the West Virginia game. Hopefully that's on TV so you guys get to hear Brad Nestler, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herbstreet. Otherwise, thanks for coming on in.